What's up guys, Hicking here, bringing you a, uh, well, preview discussion? Discussion video? News video? Guess it's news. Well, by the way, guys, remember to like and subscribe, please. Please, do it. Do it! You know you want to. Like and subscribe. Do it! And, you know, I'll, it'll show that you guys love me, and I'll try and do more videos like this, okay? But, yeah, um, this is going to be regarding a Resident Evil outrage, guys. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors now flying about. More rumors are coming in regarding the game, because uh, uh, apparently it's supposed to come out at the end of this year. So, yeah, um, lots of talk. Plus, uh, Capcom's going to be at the E3 show, uh, supposedly. Maybe maybe they'll show something off. Maybe they won't. But, uh, anyway, let's just, let's just go through it. Let's go through all of this. Uh, also, be in, my, uh, be in mind that there's also information for RE9 as well, apparently. But mainly, this is going to be strictly related to Resident Evil Outrage, and that's what I'm going to be reading out here. So yeah, uh, Outrage will be announced at Nintendo's E3 next month. Game, starts, game stars Rebecca Chambers and Natalia Burton takes place around the same time, slightly after RE8. Set in a big university where Rebecca works as a teacher, and Natalia is a student studying there. Comes out on Switch in October, everything else next April. Okay, so that's a very interesting detail there to take in. You know, uh, there's been a lot of rumors now for, for a good few years now uh, that Rebecca is going to be the main character of the game. If you guys remember, uh, Doss Gollum, uh, when, when he came out, he said that RE8 was going to have... Alex Wesker in it, you know, the woman with the, with the hat that we saw, the tall lady. We all assumed that was going to be Natalia grown up as Alex Wesker or something. And that Rebecca supposedly got cut from the game. But apparently there was miscommunication regarding that. So, um, yeah, the stuff that he heard uh, that, that, you know, that was going to be an RE8 was, a, was, was stuff that was actually about uh, outrage. So, yeah, this sort of adds up, I guess, because it, it does sort of uh, link back to those rumors that he posted uh, months ago, I think last year, that... Uh, Rebecca and Alex or Natalia would be in it so uh, yeah and if you guys remember at the end of Relations 2 Natalia did get adopted by Barry and his family so she would have the last name Burton okay that makes sense that makes sense but there's more info that came out as well uh, about it that I'm going to try and find right now because there's so much to go through so much so much so this is stuff from Dos Gollum by the way remember this rumor, this this stuff that I just read out, that this came out like nearly nearly about nearly about two weeks ago. And the stuff of Dos Golem I think came out just a few days ago. So this isn't something he posted. This is something that someone else has posted. And now he's uh, he's talking about outrage himself, I think, without having even read this. And surprisingly the the stuff he says sort of matches up with what's said here. And then there's some other stuff that someone else has said that expands on certain things that may or may not be true but uh yeah we'll we'll, we'll get into that in a second uh anyway so let's read this um part one uh, all right small little resident evil outrage tweet the main article is being done by biohazard declassified and jesse does horror i don't want to step on their toes too much so i'll be a bit tiptoe around this but i know many are curious outrage is the re game i've known uh, the least about pre-announcement and I'm pretty sure I know why. I'm mighty positive it's not being primarily directed by Capcom Division 1 or M2. I personally suspect, but don't know, it's being done by TOS, uh, T-O-S-E, uh, with key people from Capcom Division 1 directing it. Okay, so uh, first of all, quick quick discussion regarding this. Um, or should I leave that for after after I read the whole thing? I'll leave it for after, guys, actually. Okay, let me go for the whole thing. Um, Toss did Revelations 1 and 2. They're a Ghost Rider game company who's done titles for Nintendo, Capcom, others. But they're very secretive and don't take credit for the games they made. I have heard about Revelations 3 since mid-late 2017. And I've heard about Rebecca being attached to the project and her being scanned with a Japanese model since 2019 and it'd be a game coming to everything but developed with Switch in mind as lead platform. Outside of that, I've heard very little concretely. I had heard in 2020 that Ori Switch is indeed a thing from a couple sources. I've had 
one source tell me I may be wrong about something I said about outrage, which makes me a bit worried. Jesse has a report from an hour from an hour long demo someone supposedly played half a year ago, which describes an hour of the game Rebecca in a university designed similarly to class to a classic RE location. There's a lot more to that report, but I won't step on these toes too much. He wants to get a confirm on some details about the report, but this game has been weirdly elusive for myself and for him, which would make sense if the game is being developed by developed by TOS, both due to their secrecy and it might reach outside of sectors we often have. The reason he hasn't published it yet is he really wants to get a confirm on certain details to publish it more as a rumor, but it's probably true, rather than more just more than than more just a rumor. Okay. Last part. But to be open and honest, as I like to be, I've personally heard very little concretely on outrage, just a few things over the years, and I've heard the thing Jesse wanted to publish and one other thing, but neither I can confirm in a 100% way, could be true or not, to see. Okay, so uh, first of all, he doesn't have, you know, he doesn't have a lot of info on this game, I think may maybe he's now just found out some stuff, but uh, apparently this game was very secretive. Uh, there are two other rumor people who host Resident Evil related stuff, as you, as you know, as you've heard, just heard on here. Biohazard, Declassified, and Jesse Does Horror. I would say keep an eye on those guys because apparently one of them is going to be doing an article on this game, supposedly. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how true this is. Uh, what's interesting here is he's saying that he, he he's positive it's not being directed by Capcom Division One and M Two, which makes sense. Uh, which is a bit weird that he's positive because it was pretty much confirmed. By an IGN article several uh, months ago, that Division, sorry, Division Capcom Division One is doing the RE4 remake. M2 was doing the RE4 remake, but they're they're now working in a smaller capacity because the game has the remake has been rebooted by a, a Capcom Division One, and now they're focusing surely more mostly on that game. So obviously they wouldn't be part of that. they wouldn't be working on Outrage in the first place. Um, the company that apparently is doing it is TOS, which did RE1 and 2, which is weird, um, a weird thing to say, like, that, that they're the main ones that did it. I mean, obviously you had Capcom people work on it, the director of RE, the director of RE7 directed Revelations 1, and I'm pretty sure one of the directors for Revelations 2 did our other get RE games as well, so obviously Capcom had a big, you know, contribution to it, so it's a bit weird that they're saying that he's saying that this is a secret of company working it. I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it's not, uh... Uh, I mean, I guess it could be true because the Revelations 1 and 2 are very low budget titles. They really do feel very low budget as well, so it's probably a, a true case here. Um, yeah, that's that's more to do. Okay, what's interesting here is, it, you know, you, you know he's, he's talking about Revelations 3 and that he heard that Rebecca is supposedly, you know, supposed to be the main character of that game. And now he's saying that, you know, obviously he's been tiptoeing. He's been saying that Revelations 3 is actually outraged, that there was a title change, etc, etc. And that this is actually supposed to be Revelations 3, and Rebecca's going to be in it. So, you know, we've known that for a while. Uh, this is interesting about a Japanese model playing Rebecca. Uh, if you play Resident Evil 0, Rebecca does pretty much look Asian. So, yeah, I guess that would sort of make sense, I guess. Uh, they're going for something like that, uh, maybe. Uh, and yeah, uh, the whole aspect being set in a university. Again, that's interesting because this is the first time he mentions that it's set in a university. Because this rumor that I mentioned in the beginning only came out before he's before he posted that saying it's going to be a new so you know certain rumors are starting to sort of match up now together and it's interesting about this because uh, this is actually one of the ideas that i had for a resident evil game and it, it's funny enough i wanted a resident evil game starring natalia set in a university uh, this is one of the ideas i wanted for revelations 3 actually so this is really funny like i i wanted revelations 3 to have rebecca in it and for another idea, I thought, well, maybe maybe they should uh, do a you know they should do a Resident Evil story set in a university with Natalia and maybe uh, Polly Burton perhaps and that. So very very interesting. Like I'm I'm basically sort of getting the game that I wanted, like that I sort of uh, had an idea for years ago. And it's like Capcom. To be to be fair, I, every time we get those surveys that they, they, they ask us to fill out, like uh, and in terms of you know. What games we play the game, you know, the games are. What games we have played in the series, and what would, you know, what what are the comments we want? I always write. I, I've always written since RE7, I think, since they did RE7. Every survey I've I've, I've done and filled up from, from Capcom, 
I've always put at the end like a whole list of bunch of ideas, and I've always put there like you know make a you know make a Resident Evil game set in a university with this character, blah blah blah. So uh, um, you you can thank me for that, guys. Okay, you know you, this game is uh, this game's idea came from me, so you know I'm I'm the original ghost creator for this game. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It, Obviously, someone had the same idea as me, and they neutralized it. But if, if they actually did, if they actually do read uh, the news or comments, and they look at what people want, then uh, that's very interesting, because then maybe someone saw that and was like, huh, that will be actually an interesting idea for a uh, Resident Evil game. Let's do that, guys! Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just pointing that out. Like, it, it makes me happy, because that's that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to see, and they're doing that. So that's that's freaking great, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon about that. Um... So let's see, let's get some more info here. Um, and here's another thing he says. Oh, and the other thing I read was the Switch version releases... Oh wait, this is this is from someone else. This is not from Dos Golem, sorry. Let me read this. So this is the third rumor source that I got regarding Resident Evil Outrage. So right after Dos Golem posted this, someone replied to him. And uh, this had a lot of information here. Now, now this guy is referring to rumors that came out, but I've not heard these rumors before. One or two of them are I did. They, they're definitely from what was posted in that uh, rumor leak from 4chan. Yes, the first info that I posted was from 4chan, apparently. But this guy goes on a very detailed... Well, not more detailed, but he points out, he expands on a few things that are supposedly in Resident Evil Outrage, which is unexpected. So this is by an Adrian EC replying to Dos Gollum's uh, Twitter account, and he says, Damn, and this is after he's read all of this that Dos Gollum has just uh, posted. Damn. If you heard the university bit, what about the rest of the list I posted the other day? So, stars Rebecca, Natalia, Barry, and Ada. So that's that's new. That information is new. Um, Barry and Ada. That was not in the 4chan league that I just that I read out at the beginning. So this, I don't know what he read here, but this is new. So apparently Barry and Ada might be in this game. And early you know early rumors that I heard were that the, the game was going to have like three returning characters. And, uh, I mean, I don't know if that would mean that, you know, if that would count uh, Natalia and Alex as, as two. But, uh, Ada and Barry, I could see the Ada part. Obviously, the Barry part I could see being real because he's obviously Natalia's adopted dad. So, realistically speaking, he would have to make an appearance, right? And, you know, I'm crossing my fingers that Moira or Polly turn up as well because... Why wouldn't they? Do you know what I mean? I mean, she's living with her family, right? Uh, you can't just have uh, the one, you know, the foster kid just show up. Surely the other kid would show up as well, right? And Barry appearing would make sense if he's adopted or is involved. Uh, the Ada one is unexpected, but at the same time, I could see it happening because if you guys have seen the original concept, if you've seen the concept art from the Dulux edition of Resident Evil 8 Village, Ada was originally planned to be in that game, but her role got cut. So maybe they decided to put her in this game instead, so we'll see. Uh, Outrage title is based on virus being offshoot of T phobia, T outrage, and okay. So apparently, the the the, re the reason for the title and and it not being revelations. Now this is something else I've heard. Apparently, revelation. You know, Capcom got a bit um, tipsy when it came to naming the game uh, Revelations Free. They were kind of worried it wouldn't sell because the, the revelation titles apparently haven't been selling that well as much as they hoped for which is a bit weird because i'm pretty sure the game sold well well enough right but uh yeah apparently capcom wasn't that confident and they decided to give it a different subtitle that refers to the virus in the game apparently which is apparently called t outrage wow that's so freaking original and i uh, suppose there's an offshoot of the t phobias aka the fear virus from uh, uh Re revelations 2 that alex wesker made so if this is legit obviously this this even this adds fuel to the fire that Alex has some sort of role to play in this because keep in mind she, her mind is taking control of Natalia's body. So maybe we're going to get some sort of Prince of Persia, the two thrones kind of gameplay here, where maybe you're playing as Natalia and suddenly you've got Alex talking to you and that, and she's slowly taking over. Or maybe she already has and it's all part of her experiment now. So and it's going to be like a big twist where it's like, wow, I'm the one behind all of this, and she possesses Natalia for good. I don't know. It'll be interesting. As zombies are similar to crimson heads, okay, okay, um, interesting, a uh, fast, terrifying, clawed zombies, I hate the crimson heads, I mean, they're great enemies, but like, and just in terms of being difficult to kill and just being outright terrifying, so yeah, takes place in a university, so this guy's saying that, yeah, okay, interesting, and then he says, uh, oh, and the other thing I read was the Switch version releases in October 2021, with the quarter 4th of 2021 from the leak being the target for other platforms. So I, I don't really get all this winter nonsense. Um, 
I'm assuming I'm assuming fourth quarter 2021. Obviously, obviously means 2022 because uh, you know uh, I believe uh, that that first uh, 4chan rumor info said the game was gonna come out everywhere else next April. I think it did say it did say October, right? Let's see. Yeah, it does say October. It says that the game will release on Switch in October. This guy, I'm, I'm pretty sure he read that, but the the, the Ada and Barry part and the, and, the, and the viruses, that's not in here. That's not mentioned in here. So that's a bit unexpected. So I'm wondering whether he read an, an extended uh, one. Uh, but yeah, uh, interesting. So apparently the game is going to come out on Switch in October 1st, and then it's going to come out in April for other consoles next year. Um, and yeah, if, if this is legit, obviously if this is legit, we're going to have to be getting news on this game very very soon the 4chan leak says it's going to be at the nintendo game show at e3 so that's that's what in a few days that's in a few days guys so we should be getting info on this game very 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 soon um here's some info from some other guy uh, that i got as well unexpectedly uh, from uh, twitter as well that was replying to dos column a uh, z Fli Filippi, Filippi. uh Part one, outrage will star Rebecca. She is a professor at a university by acquaintance. One of her students is Natalia. Too, I'll play some halls that weren't. Uh, it'll. I'll, I don't know. I don't think this. Yeah, this guy. Uh, I think he's trying to say it. It'll. I'll play. It'll play some. Play some halls that weren't answered in Revelations one, Revelations two. I don't necessarily understand that part. What wasn't answered in Revelations one and two? I think. I think everything was pretty much answered, right? So. I'm assuming this game is going to connect in a big way to Revelations 1 and 2, but then it's not. Yes, it's Revelations 3, but Capcom doesn't want to put that name. Simply fact, the Revelations franchise didn't make much profit. The enemies are zombie style 28 days later. I guess that sort of matches up with what the other guy said, that they're going to be Crimson Heads inspired. The virus in Outrage is a variant of the t Phobos virus called t Outrage Virus. Okay, yeah, that... that uh, unless this is the same guy making a second account, but his language is a bit different from the other guy, so... Uh, yeah... Hence the name of the game. It works the same way as t Phobias, but it is triggered by anger rather than fear. Interesting. Reddish skin tone and foam in the mouth. There are also new liquors. Okay, so that's that's the inf interesting info here. So apparently, apparently it's anger that triggers the virus. So I'm guessing we're going to have a Hulk out. Okay, we're going to have Hulk. And instead of uh, turning into the big green meanie, they're going to turn into Red Hulk. <laughs> uh, and liquors are going to be in this apparently, uh, which is cool if this is true. So yeah, a lot of info there, but again, this is rumors. Keep that in mind. We don't know how legit this is. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it is legit because I lo I'm loving what I'm hearing about this game, and I really want to play it. I mean, Village was great. Don't get me wrong, it was great. It was good for what it was, but it will be nice to play a Resident Evil game that goes back that ties in. To stuff set up previously in other games because I really do want to see where the Natalia storyline is going to go next. I do want to see Rebecca come back in video game form. I do want to see Barry again and I do want to see Ada. So obviously if all oh, that's legit that would be really cool. It, it does sound like this game is going to be very old school perhaps but uh, we'll have to see. Um, no confirmation of whether this is going to be a third person or first person game. I'm assuming it's going to be third person because if this was designed originally to be Revelations 3, it would have to be third person, I'm assuming. But yeah, interesting, interesting, can't wait. And yeah, that's all I've got regarding Resident Evil Outrage. If this is legit, we're going to be finding out very, very soon. In fact, let me just go on here and find out when the Nintendo Showcase is going to be. Nintendo E3 Showcase 2021. Uh, here we go. Tuesday, June 15 at 9 a.m. PT. Right, interesting. So that's basically next week, guys. If this news is legit, or if the first rumor info from 4chan is legit we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get an, an announcement on this on tuesday basically at the nintendo game show um i want to find out what time that will be on a tuesday hmm i might i might know i won't be because no i might be able to see this i, I might be able to see this actually but so yeah we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll see uh, anyway guys, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember again to like and subscribe and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.